Longsword is probably one of the better weapons in Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. When paired with the new style Valor, it puts it as a top dog weapon style combination thanks to the quick guard point counter it has. But what if I told you there's another way to use the guard points? Say, turning your longsword into a hammer. My name's Apex Gaming, and I'm going to show you one of my favorite unusual but fun mix sets, the Long Hammer or Hammer Sword mix set, as well as one of the most meta sets to use as well. So let's dig in. Alright, sorry your eyes had to see that. That's like my uh, new favorite meme at the moment. But anyway, let's move on to the mix set. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with the name Hammer Sword since it sounds a little bit better, at least in my opinion. But armor pieces, you're going to need the Silver Raffalos Gunner Cap Z, uh, Silver Raffalos Chest, uh, Diablos XR Arms and Legs, and the Gormagala Waist XR version. You're also going to need a Tenderizer 5 triple slot, that is the bare minimum to make this set work. Additionally, you're going to need 5 Challenger Sheath decorations, each one gives you 2 points. 1 Tenderizer, uh, 1 level 1 crit boost, and a crit boost level 3 decoration. So going into these skills, the Weakness Exploit, Challenger 2, and Crit Boost skills are usually the most must-have to have on any armor set, especially since Crit is king in Generations Ultimate. But Punish Draw is what allows you to knock out monsters. How it works? So basically every time you sheath your weapon and land the draw attack, you deal impact damage. So what makes this set work so well? The fact that Valor style allows you to not only sheath your weapon very quickly, but the sheath into guard point counts as a draw attack as well, allowing you to deal impact damage fairly quickly. Now digging into the math side of this, a punish draw hit deals about 30 impact damage. Stack it with the feline slugger, a food skill, it'll add an additional 10%, which in total you'll deal a total of 33 impact damage. Now, most monsters have a initial KO tolerance of about 200 to 300, so you will probably get at least one KO a hunt, which is pretty helpful in dire solo situations as shown. As for the other skill, Challenger Sheath, it has a chance to sharpen your weapon when the monster is in rage mode and you sheath your weapon. A 30% chance at that. This skill is very niche. Uh, with most sets and I would not recommend the skill, but with uh, Valor style you'll be sheathing your weapon a lot So odds are you will be keeping your weapon at top sharpness uh, most of the time Now playstyle wise for solo hunts You don't want to entirely focus on trying to get a knockout on a monster that will mostly lead to you just missing out on overall DPS if you play your cards right the knockout will eventually come and usually at the best times for uh, multiplayer hunts, if you're playing with someone using an impact weapon as well, it's really great to help them out in dealing uh, KO damage. But please, be careful not to slice their shins and trip them. Overall, play smart, be smart, and know when to strike for the head. And last but not least, I want to go over the pros and cons of this set. The good? Um, is this set's versatility. The fact that a powerful weapon is able to now KO a monster is pretty great. Um, another is the fact that this weapon can maintain weapon sharpness without having to sit down and use a whetstone is also a good bonus. And last, if you're really not feeling Challenger Seath, you can always replace it with another skill if you decide to use a different longsword uh, like the Mantis or Researcher's longsword that have three slots. Uh, the cons or the bad, uh, this set is very situational. This, um, it really only works off or pays well with uh, monsters that like to throw their face at you, like Diablos, Tigrex, Akantar, uh, Raffles and Raffian, uh, monsters like that. And this set only really works off uh, with Valor style. If you try to use it with Striker or Adept, it's a little bit more difficult to, you know, knock out a monster or pull off the Challenger Sheath skill. And with that, let's go ahead and look at the 100% Affinity Longsword Mix Set. So I'm not going to go into big details about this armor set because, well, it's basically really simple. 
Uh, you're going to need the Hayabusa feather, headpiece, silver raffalos, uh, chest, arms, legs, and the Gormagala uh, legs XR with a Tenderizer 5 triple slot. So with the 5% on the Rust Razor Longsword plus the Critical Eye 3, you're going to be at a base 35% affinity. Plus, with Weakness Exploit, as long as you're targeting a weak spot, you're going to have an additional 50%, so you're going to be at 85. And then when Challenger 2 procs, not only do you get an attack buff, you get a, an additional 15% affinity. So, pretty much, as long as you're hitting a weak spot, uh, you're going to have a 100% affinity and a guaranteed critical hit. Um, I only really recommend Rust Razor Longsword and maybe the Researcher's Longsword because um, the set does not have Razor Sharp and so um, you need a Longsword with a lot of uh, white sharpness or purple sharpness and stuff like that. Uh, pros and cons about this set. Um, the pros, it's you know really easy to make. Uh, the Tenderizer 5 is a you know very selective but I think most of you guys by now would have it or a Tenderizer 6. Uh, the only con about this set is its terrible defense thanks to the Hayabusa Feather headpiece. Uh, so be careful when you're fighting the EX Deviants or G Hypers because they can uh, two shot you, possibly one shot with uh, some of their signature moves. Uh, you're, you're pretty much a glass cannon with this set, uh, even if you max it out. But that's going to go ahead and wrap up this week's mix set video. If you want to see these armor sets in action, I do have a speed run uh, of both Bloodbath Diablos with each of the sets. I'll leave a link in the description below. As for next week, we will be focusing on Charge Blade with two of my favorite uh, sets to use. I'm sure you guys are definitely going to like these. But after uh, Charge Blade, what would you guys want to see? Uh, leave a comment and tell me which weapon and style you would like to see in a mix set. But this is Apex Gaming, and to all of you guys, happy hunting.